Hello Whovians, it's Charles Finch and welcome back to another brand new video. All right, today, so I'm going to be talking about the 14th Doctor. And um, so uh, there, so rumours are out that Jodie Whittaker is going to be leaving Doctor Who at the end of Series 13. And uh, also, Mandip Gill uh, also is rumoured to be leaving. But I think John Bishop is staying on until he's uh, with the uh, new Doctor. And uh, I can't wait for Series 13 to come out because um, I'm a big fan of the show. I am always have been a big fan of the show. And uh... <laughs> all right. So uh, so there have been uh, competitors of who be of who is going to be the next Doctor. We don't know yet and we don't know when it's going to be launching. I mean, uh, there's so Jodie Whittaker was revealed as the 13th Doctor four years ago, back in 2017. And this was the clip. I know. I was like, what? A woman? Oh my god. A woman? Oh my god. Sir, I, I have never... I knew it was going to be a woman, I, but I was not expecting that. Yeah, I was 18 at the time. <laughs> but I'm 22 now. Um, yeah, so... Uh, so there... So I on my one of my videos of uh who's gonna be the next fourteenth doctor, there have been uh of the video that I've done, uh, I've um I'm gonna be showing you a few of the competitors of who's gonna be the next doctor because I've been keeping up with the news recently of uh well COVID nineteen, but I've been also keeping up with the leaks of who's gonna be the next fourteenth Doctor Who, and um so uh. Uh, there's gonna be um. I've I've seen a few leaks of some pe some actors and actresses or who are going to be dot who, and uh, here they are. <laughs> Okay, so, so many choices. People are all voting of all the actors and actresses or who, who is going to be the next Doctor. So uh, I have uh, three choices. Uh, number one, Michael Sheen, which I'm really going for. Number two... Tilda Swinton, and uh, number three, um, Richard Aoyde. Yeah, Richard Aoyde. Uh, I'm not very. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not I never. I no, don't know who he is, but uh, I think he will make a pretty good doctor. I think, and um, so 
so the list of the actors are all uh, competing of who's going to be the next Doctor. So, in the ring, Helena Bohem Carter. Oh my god. Well, she, I can't, I've, I heard rumours that she's going to be replacing Jodie Whittaker. Well, we don't know yet. We, there hasn't been a release reveal trailer yet. We don't know for sure. So, but I'm, but pretty sure Helena Bohem Carter has been all, has been listed uh, as the finalist on this one, the latest, and um, she's listed as uh, the ne next Doctor, and uh, because uh, I'm I I know Helena Bohem Carter, she I've seen her in films like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and also Alice in Wonderland, and also she's also memorable as playing. Bellatrix, Lestrange, and Harry Potter, and uh, my thoughts on Helena Bohem Carter being the next Doctor. Um, I don't really know to be honest. I, I but I don't really mind of who's going to be the next Doctor, unless uh, and to be clear, um, it doesn't matter if the actors or actresses are bad. It's just being the best Doctor there are. But Matt Smith has always been the best Doctor. And Jodie Whittaker is also my second favorite, and third, David Tennant, and also, uh, so and uh, David Harwood. Oh my, my God, uh, he's been in Doctor Who before as uh, the evil president Joshua Naismith at the end of David Tennant's era. I'm not too, not really too keen on him being the next Doctor. I just not. I'm just not uh, because there's a lot of. Uh, unorthodox uh, actors who are not really keen on playing the Doctor. So, yeah. Uh, but uh, my money's on Michael Sheen as he is the most... He is one of the actors who are who has not played uh, the Doctor yet. I mean, I, I mean, he's he worked alongside David Tennant in God, God Omens and, um, and I, I really... Really hope he's going to be the next Doctor, because he's pretty funny. Because uh, I've I've seen him a few times in a few films, and uh, I think he will pr make a pretty good Doctor, and he could bring some uh some uh, childish wit and uh brains to the brawn and um and uh be a mentor to his companions, and uh, like uh, like. Like his uh, like his um, role as playing Angel in in Good Omens, so yeah, I think he'd make a pretty good Doctor to be honest, because he's a really good actor, and um, Richard Ayodi, uh, I don't know about him, but he looks pretty um, uh, he looks pretty higher on the list, because he looks pretty much a Doctor to me. He looks because uh, he looks like a scientist, and uh, he could bring uh, so much potential and iconic um, uh, en energy to the role, and like David Tennant. Uh, so uh, yeah, he might make a pretty good doctor. Um, so yeah, so this is all the list of all the doctors who are list who are competing against each other of who's going to be. Number 14. All right. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and post your comments below and watch your money on who's going to be number 14, Doctor Who. All right. Take care. Bye for now. Geronimo.